I'll do my best to help defend the SmackDown Live Women's Championship against Sheamus, which is something I never thought I'd say. It's a strange situation that Brooklyn put us in, but I appreciate the help. At least we're already up 1-0, so we have the advantage. That's right. Undefeated in our house. Whose house? Our house? Come on! Whose house? Our house! Whose house? Our house! Yeah! Much better! You couldn't just leave Trey and I alone and let us have our success in WWE, could you? Do you really want to do this now? Because if I were you, I'd be doing everything in my power to try to hold on to my championship. That's kind of out of my hands at this point, thanks to you and this ridiculous series. You see ridiculous, but I see innovative. I've broken the mold with everything I've done in my life, so don't expect that to stop now that I'm GM of SmackDown Live. That's right. I said smack down. Happy? trying to kick out of a pin with him on top of you. Well, I'm proud to say I've never imagined Big E pinning me. Not on my bucket list. It's all about the movement of smiles, pancakes, bootios, and positivity. One of the most powerful men on the WWE roster. Got a little extra pep in his step here tonight. Big E's ready for battle. Here comes a true warrior. And his opponent, representing the bar from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The Celtic Warrior ready to go. He doesn't just set the bar, he is the bar. And known as one of the hardest hitters in WWE, there is an unmistakable presence that Sheamus brings to the ring. We'll never forget the night he won the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania when he defeated Daniel Bryan in a near record 18 seconds. Those kind of dominating performances, Michael, have become the norm for Sheamus's career. Series gets underway. I don't want to 
to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Big E and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in, but my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. Well, it's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. Oh, Connected man. on that. Hoping to end it early. Plenty of fight left. Still seems a little early. I was in NXT at the same time as Big E, and the man's been a winner his entire career. He's a former NXT champion, an Intercontinental champion, and part of one of the most successful tag teams of all time, those fools in the New Day. Now, trampling the opposition. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. It's nice to see you remain objective as a broadcast journalist. Many people still remember Big E's time as Dolph Ziggler's bodyguard. I don't think the powerhouse is done winning WWE gold either. Big E's achieved a great deal in WWE as a singles competitor and as a member of a tag team. I think the sky's the limit. They don't call him big for nothing. Great match here, but if you miss any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. Sheamus gets the win. More importantly, the series is now tied up in a win each. Going down 2-0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her savages, but now it's a whole new series.